What you're about to hear is a phone conversation with Steve Blum, Senior Vice President of America's Sales for Autodesk, regarding the new Autodesk Assistance Program designed to help unemployed architects, engineers, and designers. I'm Ralph Bond for Autodesk. Steve, Autodesk has had a lot of programs to help engineers, architects, and designers who are unemployed already. We've got Autodesk University Online. We have the Autodesk Users Group International Resources. We have an Autodesk YouTube site now with hundreds of free videos, tutorials, and so forth. And, of course, on Autodesk.com, we've got tons of information about free local training seminars and other resources through our resellers and so on. But what's new with the Autodesk Assistance Program? What does it add to that set? Sure. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased that we're rolling out this program because we really want to provide value to uh, all of our customers, and most certainly we want to help out those uh, customers of ours that have lost their jobs here recently. So there's several new items that we're adding um, that really make the Autodesk Assistance Program you know, a key program for folks to leverage. First of all, we're including software to all of these folks that have lost their jobs. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make available to all registered folks who have lost their jobs uh, a 13-month education, education license. And they can access such uh, products as AutoCAD, uh, Autodesk Inventor Professional, Revit Architecture, and AutoCAD Civil 3D. So meeting the different disciplines, we're providing a 13-month educational license for use so that uh, all of these folks have the opportunity to access the state-of-the-art software and begin to use it and get comfortable with it. But what's very important is they're not just leaving them on their own to figure this out. Um, we're also including training as part of the Autodesk Assistance Program. And thankfully, working together with our VARs, our, our value-added resellers across the Americas, as well as the participating uh, Autodesk training centers, uh, our partners together are offering up opportunities for uh, these displaced employees to be able to participate in real training of these products. Uh, these are training classes that our partners are already providing, and for either a nominal fee or free, depending upon the situation and the partner, uh, one of these people who would, would like to, who's lost a job and wants to learn new skills can contact that local partner and actually sit through an entire training class so that they learn new skills and new capabilities leveraging the products that I already mentioned. And finally, to support the training initiative, uh, we have a path to certification. Folks definitely want to be able to go through not just learning new methodologies and learning new tools, but being able to prove ex from an external source that, source that they're certified to be able to use those offerings. And uh, we are providing a discount to all the certification exams. So when a person goes through and accesses his or her copy of software and then sits through the training that's provided by one of our partners, they can then go and, uh, for a very, very nominal fee, take a certification exam and actually get a certificate that says he or she is accredited to be able to deliver services in that area, which we believe is going to make that person more marketable to get a new job. In addition to the training that's going to be provided by our partners, we're also making available online training materials so that uh, if a person wants to go off and, and work through a self-paced training process online 24-7, courses will also be made available that way so that everyone has the opportunity to be able to learn new skills and to better prepare themselves to get that next job. How will the new program benefit displaced professionals in the architecture, engineering, design, or manufacturing industries? You know, during these challenging times, we really want the program participants to be able to, to gain new skills and get some valuable event benefits that's going to help them overall improve their employability in this job, uh, tough job market, and of course even position themselves for when the market turns around. Um, so first and foremost, by getting software, and in the latest release of software, all of the folks that participate in the program will have the opportunity to personally experience using the current release of these products and, and getting up to speed on leveraging and using successfully some new offerings that perhaps they weren't using or getting exposure to in their prior job. We want to provide formal training, and this formal training is going to be provided by qualified professionals provided through our, our partner community or also put together by our professionals that will make them available online. So folks are going to learn not just how to use the tools by 
clicking on menus, but they're going to learn process and methodology so that they're most effective and efficient in applying that technology to get the end result. And ultimately, we want to provide all the participants with an opportunity to take certification exams so they can meet either their associate or professional certification levels. And we believe this is going to be very important for people to stand out in making themselves more employable in the future. You know, ultimately, Autodesk expects the program participants will receive updated and contemporary skills that selective employers who are focusing on adding new members to their team will be seeking out in this tight job market. Is this a worldwide program? You know, as we roll this out, it's first going to be focused explicitly on North America. If it's a North American program to start, when will Autodesk offer the program in Europe or Asia? Sure. And, and the intention is to actually have this be a worldwide program. So we're initially rolling it out in North America, and we hope within the next four to six months we'll be able to roll it out to those other geographies. They may not all roll out exactly at the same time, but our goal is absolutely to make this program available to users around the world. And how long will the U.S. program run? So this program is going to begin immediately, and it's going to run through the balance of 2009. So it will be basically a full-year program. Steve, how does someone qualify for the program? Well, I actually hope many of the people listening don't qualify for the program. But uh, uh, if you do qualify, basically, if you are a displaced employee working in either the architectural or engineering or design or manufacturing industries, you will be eligible to participate in the program. So to meet the eligibility requirements, we're going to ask several things. First of all, you need to be unemployed and have recently lost your job. And for those who have qualified, I'm very, very sorry, but this is why we're putting the program together. Next, we certainly want you to be a member of the architecture, engineering, design, or manufacturing communities. Basically, if you've worked for a company in any one of those very broad, large segments, you would qualify for that. So if you've met those requirements, what we ask that you do is we're going to have you go online and complete an application. So it's an electronic application. We'll be asking for several key elements or, or, or pieces of information. Certainly there's going to be some personal contact information, some information about the industry that you've come from. Um, we're also going to ask for you to provide some specific information about when you actually lost your job, you know, the, the, your, the, your last date of employment uh, with your former employer, who your former employer was, uh, and even ask for an HR contact so that we can validate that you have lost your job and are eligible for the program. Once you've met all those key requirements, you're good to go and you're in the program. And finally, Steve, where can people go to learn more? Sure. Uh, if the easiest place to go is to our website. Um, that's the Autodesk.com website, which is, of course, www.autodesk.com slash and then assistance program, all one word, because this is the Autodesk assistance program. So, again, it's Autodesk.com slash assistance program. So you can go there. You can get a lot of information. You can learn about the program. You can apply online. Of course, all of the employees amongst my team here at Autodesk are knowledgeable on the program. You can contact them. Also, please feel free to contact any of our partners. They're all aware of the program, supporting the program, and all of them will be very happy to provide you the information you need to be able to apply and become a participant. And Steve, the partners you mentioned, are they listed on the website you gave out? They are. In fact, an entire listing of all of our partners can be found on the Autodesk.com website. Steve, certainly these are tough times, and I think together we can pull through with the help of resources such as your team has put together. It's really a great program. Thanks very much, and uh, look forward to working with everybody out there. We will get through this together, and we will all come out stronger at the end.